Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Czechoslovakia, where today we'll be going down the right path. Literally. <laughs> like, not saying that it's the right path, but it's the right, you know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. In case you're wondering, no, we won't become a German puppet. I'll probably try to do the, the Czech Entente and just, like, cheese something out of it. Yeah, no, the usual. Friends, today we shall go the one true based path for Czechoslovakia. Which involves us destroying Hungary, so yeah, look forward to that. Not gonna lie, but I have little faith in <laughs> this path now since the support for it is rising very slowly. Mm. Yeah, I think I should go down the civil war path, <laughs> just do it, you know. Though maybe if I do get some events, we could get lucky, so I'm hoping for that, Loki. Well, a bit of sadness for everybody, but we'll, we will have to instigate a civil war now. It's not the most optimal thingy, but there's no really any other option, like, bruh, I kinda have to, so I can skip a focus here with the Czech Consolidation or National Fascism and just go for German ally. You know, like, we just kinda gotta rush it. Right. It's time to ignite the civil war. <gasps> We kept the cavalry division, let's go, this is, this is huge. We're gonna win, no problem now, just deploy these guys here. These guys go to Presho, and that's it. We also do check consolidation, which should just skip it, very nice. And we just do this, and this should be, this should be it. This was fast enough, so I, we should be able to get enough troops in, in order to join Germany somewhat soon enough action. Yeah, we can do the German ally in peace. <laughs> Just like that, we have avoided war with Germany. I hope, I think, I do believe so, yes. Guys, I'm happy to announce we have avoided war with Germany. Now it's time to attack Hungary. Yeah, no, I just feel like Hungary has existed for way too long. I think it's time to declare war on them. Also, the Germans demanded to the one from us. <laughs> they have a war call both on themselves and on us. So, yeah, that's that's kind of interesting, I guess. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Poland doesn't have any guarantees, so that means if I declare war on them, me and Germany, right, declare war on them. Like, we're best buds like that, you know, not everybody has what me and Germany have. <laughs> uh, anyway, if I declare war on them, now, that means the allies won't get involved. You see, you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, you do. Mm hmm? Hopefully the Germans declare war on Poland now. I mean, they do have a free war goal. And this is the freest Poland is gonna be like, ever. Don't have any guarantee, so please just... Germany, come on. <laughs> declare war on Poland. There we go. Now call us in. I said call us in, damn it. You fools. There we go. It was German troops who entered Warsaw, but no, it was Czechoslovak troops that actually did. Ha ha. It'll be the end of the... Ah, it is. Nice. <laughs> Just try to take Krakow and Lemberg. Yeah, no, nothing special. Well, we could... Should I just mess around a bit? <laughs> Should we do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Not gonna lie, but... Kinda salty that we can't get Poland, like, Lvov... Lviv, Lvov, whatever you wanna call it. Like, bruh, it would have made our border so much nicer. It would look like Austria-Hungary. Like, this is the second attempt at it. Actually, I'm gonna try for the third. God, finally, I was able to get it. Ah, uh, <laughs> like, bruh, I needed it. Why? So at least we have the northern border of Aust Australia, Hungary, you know? Like, just so it looks a bit nicer. I have no clue what's about Mr. Slavomir, but something about his smile. Like, I think he's very happy about his job. Wait, what? How did they just get it? I didn't have any choice in it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, why? <laughs> Germany declared war on Luxembourg. And the Allies. Hooray. <laughs> Time to go fuck shit up, I guess. Yes, Germany declared war on Denmark. In the speed bump of Scandinavia. Guys, can you just declare war on Belgium, please? Like... This isn't funny anymore, you know. Italy, can you please enter the war so we're just pushing to France? 
please be bugs, come on. Come on, we have overwhelming forces here anyway, like the allies have no chance. Finally Italy decided to join the war, well we can actually do something now. Damn. <laughs> so Germany finally decided to declare war on the Benelux, so I'm hoping that we can break through and get Paris, capitulating France and then by some miracle we invade England. I don't know how yet, I don't know why, just need to invade them, okay? The push is going well so far, hopefully we don't stop where the Germans did in World War I, haha. <laughs> We are about to enter Paris any second now. Come on, Czechoslovak troops. You know you want to help it get into, I don't know, into the thick of it. Yeah. Go, lads, just like that. France has capitulated. Nice. You know what? I feel like we could become free easily. Like, we just give a few trains to Germany and then boom, freedom, just like that. No more overlords, no more nothing. And I couldn't really do an entente of our own. But I don't think Germany would declare war on us since... yeah. Wait, what? Finland accepted Soviet demands? Hold up. <laughs> they accepted Soviet demands just for the Soviets to the... Right? I don't know why, but I feel like Germany might be preparing for a war with the Soviets. Like, yeah, just... Just a feeling, I don't know, like, just them amassing troops at the border, like, nothing special, you know? <laughs> yeah. Germany declared war on the Soviets, which means I'm gonna have to go to war with them as well, so yeah. I'm gonna help defend and then we're gonna push. For real, for real, boys. This is this is gonna be a GG. Easy, my friends, easy. We're able to break the Soviets here. We can just do a nice little encirclement here and just... Well, you know, 20 divisions here, 20 divisions there and... Well, you'll notice a difference. You might wonder what's my contribution to Barbarossa and I'm gladly and willing to announce that it is trucks. And I'm like, what? Trucks? What, what you talking about? So I'm, well, we're single-handedly supplying probably half of the, <laughs> half of our effort. <laughs> Boys and girls, I'm happy to announce that we are free. <laughs> On the way, Germany is about to enter Moscow already. Like, bruh. Nah, fam, it's only 1941 and we're already literally at the gates of Moscow. Eh, the better <laughs> it is. After outmaneuvering the Soviets and just, I don't know how much brain cells being lost, we are finally about to capture Moscow. Keyword being, I hope. <laughs> Moscow has fallen to Czechoslovak troops, mind you. Not German, not Italian, not Romanian, but Czechoslovak. Therefore, it's proof that if Czechoslovakia was on the side of the Axis, the Axis would have been able to capture the... Moscow. Not the Moscow, a Moscow. Yeah. We're about to capture Leningrad as well, so... Yeah, good job Czechoslovakia, I guess. I, I can pat myself on the back now. <laughs> the Soviets have been beaten back quite badly. <clears throat> and their equipment is suffering, so I hope the war should be will be over soon like it should be they have like 15 percent left but still like 15 percent is getting to the urals and a bit into siberia already so yeah still have to capture the caucasus oh lord we have been able to break through in the caucasus so that's a little win for us and i think the germans are doing somewhat well in siberia like, they're almost there, they just need a bit more and like, 8 more percent for the so 7 more percent for the Soviets to capitulate. Just let it be over already, damn it. Just let us take Chelya Bean Scored, Kostanai. Come on. This should be it, right? That's it. It is. Nice. You know what? I'm satisfied with this peace deal. We got Czechoslovakia SMC, we expanded it more than doubled its territory, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end, no, not that I think, I know I'm gonna end a video here, so I hope you all enjoyed it, hope you all had fun watching it, otherwise, have a nice rest of your day, and see ya next week, bye bye.